been a while since I did a little vlog. And in a new jumper. I know, how exciting is that, right? I went to Gap the other day, and I wasn't going to go in Gap, and then I walked past, and they said, they gave me a scratch card, and then you scratched it off, and you got 40% off. It was like, um, it was like Black Wednesday for me. <laughs> um, so yeah, I got a new jumper, which is very exciting. So I wanted to post a little vlog, uh, just say a couple of things, really. Um, I've been shouting a lot on uh, on my Twitter feed, uh, defending uh, the X Factor, some of the people who work on the X Factor, the show, uh, the boss, um, and a lot of people are saying, well, why are you doing that? You know, it's not going to do you any favours or any good. And I wanted to explain why I'm doing it. Because um, I, I won't sit still and stay quiet about my beloved X Factor. I won't, at any cost. Um, and why is because I started on the show on day one. Uh, Roxanne was born that same year. Uh, we've both grown up with it. It's been a massive part of my life. Um, but it's not just a gig to me. Uh, I don't just turn up and do the gig and leave like a lot of people do in work, or, you know, whatever industry you're in. It's way more than that. It's a passion. It's friends. It's a family. It's been a life journey of ups and downs um, for me and for lots of other people as well. Um, I've seen bands come and go. I've seen superstars born. Um, you know, it's a bang on all the time. I saw One Direction turn up when nobody knew who One Direction were. Same with Ollie Murs, Alexandra Burke, Leona Lewis. Um, I mean, the list goes on and on and on. Fleur is a prime example. He's going to be a massive superstar. Um, ben, uh, her new, I, you know, anyway, the list goes on. Um, but I've seen those careers grow. Uh, I've seen the families in the audience cry and weep and beam with pride. I've seen people who work on the show go off and have babies, get married, get divorced, get promoted. Um, in fact, Amelia runs our show now, our big boss. They never used to be our big boss. Um, Richard Holloway, our big boss, is you know always sat in the corner, and ready to tell me off. He's like a bit of a father figure around the show for me. So there's you know there's a lot that goes on in that show, and that's why I'll stand up for it. But here's the important bit, and what people don't see actually: the X Factor take away the show. When we go on tour and we're in studio, we change lives um, for our audience, and nobody gets to see that. Um, and it's important that I point it out. You know, there's a girl called Mandy Emerson, who I talk about all the time on my Twitter feed, who came down to meet Gary Barlow, gave him a hug, had a picture, size 22. We brought her back to the X Factor as a size 12, um, because she decided after meeting Gary to change her life around. Um, Karen and Vicky Balch, who came to the show last week, uh, Simon, amazingly, as he always does and what no one ever sees, is going to help them and change their lives around. We bring fans down to meet the judges. And this started 12 years ago with me. We took a fan down to meet uh, Simon. And it just went on. And it kept going on and on and on. And every single judge who's ever worked on the show has never said no. And they've met their fans and made fans' dreams come true. Um, superstar artists who have come to the show. Michael Bublé is a prime example. When he turned up at the show in the pouring rain, he went right the way down the crowd and said hello to everybody. Nobody sees that. Um, nobody sees the fans that have come and waited for hours and hours and the stars that arrive at the show go and see them. No one sees that. Uh, no one sees the amount of people we've helped on the show. Simon's given people jobs. Um, people have had tickets to their star shows. Um, Ollie has, you know, taken, goes and sees his fans when no one's watching. Um, so all these things happen that nobody sees and that's why I'm so passionate about it. I don't hate Dan Wharton. Dan does what he does and that's fine. I don't hate Steve Brooks dying. He hates himself but I will not stand quietly and watch our show and the people on it get hammered um, and I know Dan's a journalist and that's what he does but you know that's part of my family so I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna say something at any cost because that's how much I believe in it and that's my passion with the show um, and it's same with all the other shows I work on they're not jobs for me they're a passion I'm a bit like my ITV family really and the BBC shows uh, that I've worked on and Sky um, channel 4 and channel 5 uh, you know I don't go to work I go to work because I believe in what I do and I believe in the shows I work on um, having said that I watched the most amazing show with Tony Bryant uh, last night on BBC 2 please go and watch it it's, uh, it was heartbreaking and groundbreaking all in one you know when I talked about my sexual abuse a couple of years ago uh, via my um, social media you know not many people were talking about it and when I watched programs like that last night it just fills me up that, you know, it's getting talked about. And if it's getting talked about, people can feel feel fearless and come out and reach out for help. The statistics last night on the show were shocking. Um, and the NSPCC and Childline are just amazing. Two amazing charities that help people every single day. 
and even um, I think it's victims of child abuse in adulthood. It's on the show, um, you know, for people in adulthood who can't face their problems. You know, I've got a lot of people on my Twitter feed um, who have faced many, many problems um, and much stuff. And that's why I love my Twitter. I know I should be more funny on it, but just give me a microphone and give me a stage. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm funny as that. Um, so that was really powerful. Um, you know what? It's OK to stand up for what you believe in. It really is. Too much hatred going on in the world. Lots more love, please. That's what I want. Um, Mickey Yule is doing a power weightlifting thing today. Um, he's a helpful hero and a hero. And uh, you can tune in and watch him online at 3 o'clock. I'm going to be doing that. Uh, today's a fantastic day. I've still not bought a new suit. I need to go and do that. I need to get some shoes. And I still have not done my ironing. There is a pile over there. Or you don't even want to know. I'm staring up at my um, story in my life picture. I don't know if you read on my Twitter feed. But... Um, when 1D took a break, I found this girl on Twitter. I don't know how I found her, but she would paint pictures um, around the songs of different artists, uh, particularly One Direction. And my favourite One Direction song is Story of My Life. And I read about this girl's story. She took up her art and wanted to sell her paintings and didn't sell one. And then she had to go to work and she went to work and then she lost the job. So now she sits at home with her kids, dreaming about her passion. And I saw that same passion in One Direction. So the, her story of uh, my life picture now hangs on my wall. It's the best thing I've ever bought myself. I'm really, really happy to have it. Um, yeah, she's on my Twitter feed as well if you want to go and look her up. Great picture if you've got a One Direction fan at home. Um, you get a proper picture. Yay. Have a fantastic day today. Um, life's all good. Don't hate anyone, but stand up for what you believe is right. And that's the end of this vlog. I should end with a song, right? You raise me up.